Maybe we can do a drive-by like after we leave the story. Like really quickly, this in like less than two minutes, and then I see this car like in a pole in the same exact spot I had just left. I would park in another country to avoid traffic and people. Boy, oh well, I tried. Absolutely not a firm pillow sleeper. I just don't do it. I don't do it. We're in the same plaza as my old gym that I don't go to anymore just because I'm trying to save money. I'll probably eventually go back to it. Maybe we can do a drive by like after we leave the store, maybe. I haven't been in this area in so long and it's not even that far from my house. I just never take this route anymore because there's no need for me to. Look these are. And these. Oh, they have purple pillows. We're about to do a drive-by. <laughs> Me and my best used to call drive-by. That just basically means we just stalking people out. <laughs> oh, why am I telling them my business? Am I keeping you guys low so they don't see me filming, you know? Let's see if there's any familiar cars there, any familiar faces. I don't think they know this car color because I used to have a gray platinum. Now I have a red platinum. There's no familiar vehicles here. Let me see if I see anybody on the inside. Nobody on the inside. But it looks exactly the same. Nothing has changed around here, that's for sure. Let me make this turn and then we're gonna head to the Walmart and then we're going home. But let me tell you, there was I'm on this intersection now. Oh wait, I guess there is something changed. There is an actual fire station here now. Before, they, there used to be like a lot of like fire trucks that used to just hang out in like this big empty field, but there's an actual fire station here now. Oh, that's crazy. Anyways, so right here, like where I'm about to make this turn right now that I can't show you, I'm sorry, but one time I was sitting here waiting at the light and and then I went. When it turned green, I made a I made a left turn, and I went down the street. And I remembered something. I think I needed to go back somewhere else for something else, or I needed to go home, and I couldn't go where my original destination was. So I hooked a U-turn. I busted a U-E, like maybe like a light or two lights down. And when I made the U-turn and came back to the same spot I was sitting at, that same area I just I was just at, there was a car that slammed straight into a light pole right exactly where I was I was sitting like moments before. And I don't know what happened in that short amount of time because it was like it was this all happened like less than like two minutes i kept thinking like what happened like if i was still there in that spot like that could have been that could have been me i feel like in a way that's like a near-death experience it's not like as crazy sounding as like most of the other ones were 
um, that other people experience. But if I was there, like if that light was like a minute longer, that could have been me. Like that car could have slammed right into me. Like the whole pole was down. The whole, the, the car was in a horrible shape. I don't know up to this day if the person was okay, but the, 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 that accident didn't look good. And it was of course so brand new, like the cops or anything hadn't even shown up yet. It was like, it had just happened. Like I just pulled off and then I decided to bust the Yui like really quickly this, in like less than two minutes and then I see this car like in a pole in the same exact spot I had just left. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and it's not likely that there would have been another car there because there's not, that road is like a little side street, so it's not like many cars travel down it. So it would have just, it would have just been me. I don't know what happened. I pray up to this day that that person was okay, and I pray even harder that it wasn't me. I just remember I called my mom, and I was just like, oh my gosh, that could have been me. I could have been sitting there in that spot. That car could have slammed into me. I don't even know what happened. It was so quick. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess the moral of the story is, guys, you just never know. Live every day like it's your last, because you never know. You just never know. Some car is just going to randomly take you out when you're just sitting there at a stoplight. I think that's the moral of the story I'm trying to get at. Walmart is like a quarter of a mile away from where I'm parked, but I refuse to park my car all the way over there and then have to be around all these cars that's going in and out that's going to be parking. Like, I would park in another country to avoid traffic and people. Nope. Oh boy. Oh well, I tried. I'm gonna check another Walmart on Monday before we go to work. That's the same one I was having anxiety about going to. We're gonna try that one. But early in the morning, it's not so bad. There's not gonna be like many people. So we'll do that. Say hi, boy. <laughs> Hi to the perps. Rocky says hi. Jonah, how are you? We're gonna we're gonna walk you in a second. But I wanted to talk to you about the pillow that I got. I got it's from Park Avenue collection. And all the pillows at Didi's are like super cheap, of course, is Didi's discounts. Um, quilted luxury. Um, there was one in there. <laughs> That was the same brand, but it was a little like too firm. It was like a little too firm, but this one that was on it in a different area, it was not as firm. I don't know if it was because people's been touching it more or what. I don't know. I don't know. But the type of pillows that I like to use are like really, really soft ones. You know, like the ones at the ho the I was gonna say the hospitals. No, the devil is a liar. The ones at the hotels that like you just sink into, they had those there. Um, they were about $10 and then these they're like really soft like them but like a little bit more firmer is like and the only reason I got this one over the other one is because these are much bigger these are for a king size bed and also I like to like sit up in bed sometimes and they will like prop me up a little bit better so I picked up these over the other ones and I hope it works out for me if it doesn't, we're going back for the cheap ones. But these were cheap too. They were $16. So it was only $6 more than the other ones. So I'm going to try it out and see how it works. I'll let you guys know how I uh, slept, I guess, overnight. Um, you guys tell me, what kind of pillows are you into? Are you into like the real soft ones that you just sink your head into? Or you like the firm ones? Because I am absolutely not a firm pillow sleeper. I just don't do it. I don't do it. I don't do it. <laughs> yeah, so let me know. Give me your thoughts and ideas and concerns and tell me about your sleeping habits. Just finished my photo shoot. I just finished my photo shoot and I think I'm gonna go and wash the dishes and then we're gonna go on a walk in a couple minutes before the Walmart groceries get delivered. Although I'm starting to see clouds roll by as I speak. So we'll see how that works out.
Perps, my SD card has been giving me problems for like a few months now. Like every time I try to stick it into the slot, it keeps like sticking off to the sides because like the bottom part was like kind of like falling apart and spreading, if that makes any sense. 